Hey guys, so you're here to watch a review of Lantana. I'm actually inserting this little piece of video before the review starts because I want to point out something that I noticed when I was actually watching the review. Um, so I talk a lot about the monofilament on Lantana because it's a double monofilament. And I don't really talk about how deep the lace front is. When I was watching the review, I noticed that you can really see the segue between the lace front and the monofilament in the video. I haven't noticed it in real life. I haven't noticed it looking in the mirror, but I do want to show you that because I don't talk about it. When I split the hair in the middle, you can see where this monofilament starts and that's the lace front. See what I'm saying? It's, she has a very good and a very deep lace front. When you wear her pulled up, you cannot see that transition. You really can't even see it. I have her up right now, and I have just some bangs pulled forward. You really can't see it unless you're looking for it. But it is there. There is a definite, definite transition between the lace front and the monofilament. So I do want to talk about that. I don't address it in the video because I honestly didn't notice it until I was watching the video. Like I said, I've worn Lantana now twice, and today I've been wearing her for a number of hours. And it wasn't until I saw the video that I really noticed that. So I don't know that it's a big deal, but since it's in the video, you will see what I'm talking about when I'm showing the cap and some other things. I thought it was important that I address it. If this ever becomes a problem, I will definitely give an update. But so far, I love I love Lantana. I'm, I'm, she's just growing on me every day more and more. And I love this double monofilament. I just don't think you can really tell. So thanks for watching, guys. And Continue on to the video. Hey everyone, I am here today to show you Lantana uh, in the Sintress line and I'm really, really excited because this is a brand new line for me. I don't own any wigs from this line. So let me just tell you first what I'm on. So this is Lantana in the color 625. And Lantana is actually part of the Sintress line or the Sintress collection of the Gemtress manufacturer. So Gem Trust has a Sintress collection. Lantana is in that collection. Boy, that's a lot, huh? It's kind of hard to keep track of. But uh, let me just tell you about Lantana. So I'm really excited. Leanne at the Beauty Nook has been talking a lot about Lantana and about Sintress. And, you know, she's had a number of these wigs in her live sales. And when she asked me if I would be willing to try Lantana and, and give an, an opinion of her, I just jumped on it because who wouldn't want to try something new? But I had seen Stacy's review from Wear Wigs With Me on this wig. And so I thought it would be fun to check it out and see if my opinions of her were same or different, um, the similar or different from Stacy. So first of all, let me talk about this color, 625. Actually, now that I think of it, I was going to try to take a picture to show you guys of the, of the swatch that they have out there on this color. It's terrible. It makes it look like this wig has tiger stripes, and it totally doesn't have tiger stripes. It is so well blended, as you can see. So one takeaway that I have with this line is I think they need to do a little bit better job with their marketing because I don't think they market their wigs very well. The picture on um, websites that sell this of this wig, she doesn't look anything like the picture. She's really cute on and I just would never have purchased this one based on that picture. I also think the color really threw me off. Leanne assured me that this was a well blended color and she is absolutely right. So this is a 625, 6 is a medium dark brown, and that's the base, and a 25 is a medium golden blonde. So this is a medium dark brown and a medium golden blonde blended. So you just get this medium brown that is just so pretty, but it's not, it doesn't stand out, it's not wild, it doesn't have you know, very visible highlights. It's just a wonderful, wonderful kind of a sandy brown. It's a very neutral color. I wouldn't consider this ashy and I wouldn't consider this really warm. I would say this is very neutral. So if you are a brunette and you are looking for something that's medium brown, not too dark, not too light, not too bold, 625 is a great color. 
Now let's just talk a little bit more about Lantana and her style. So you can see she is curly on the bottom and pretty straight on the top. So she is a full mono top and she is a double mono top. So all of this could be styled. So if you didn't like the, the way that she is more straight on the top, you could pull her up in a clip very, very easily. And look at that monofilament. It's so great. It just looks like scalp. There is no possibility that someone is going to know that you have a wig on at all. I mean, that you could just do so simply. You could, it also has a great lace front. So if you didn't want to leave some bangs down, you can pull her up in some bangs or pull her bangs up and look at that lace front. It's so good and nobody would be the wiser. Actually, I wore her to work this week and I pulled it up because I'm not used to bangs and it was the first time I was wearing her and I didn't want to deal with the bangs all day. So I pulled her up and it was great. So let me give you a 365 view of this one before I start talking more about the cat features. You know, I always wondered when people did this, they turn around, they look at the camera and kind of smile. Um, my camera likes to go out of focus when it can't see my face or change the color. So that's why I do it. So you can see, you see how that happens? So you can see how she is a mid length and she is very, very layered, tons of layers, but she's not short. And so I think she's just that perfect in between for people who don't really like long wigs, but also, but like maybe chin length. I think she's a really good wig for that. And I'm one of those people. I am kind of, I like the mid length more the bob, but sometimes I like a little bit longer just for fun. And so she's really good with that. So let's just talk a little bit about how comfortable she is. This cap is incredibly comfortable. She fits me very well. I do have room like I almost always do in all wigs up here because I have a very petite head, very petite, but I have an average circumference. And so she's very comfortable on her coverage. There are the ear tabs. And then she's got this hair that hangs down. So you can barely see my bio hair. I almost always have a lot more bio hair showing in wigs than I do in this one. So the coverage on this one is really good. The ear tabs come down really, really low and give me perfect coverage. Um, I do, I just can't get over this monofilament though. Honestly, I just can't get over it. It's so realistic. And so you could, if you're not a left hand part person, you could definitely part her on the right. You know, I think these bangs may need some training. It depends on how you want to wear it. I committed to some wig sisters. I posted a really quick video of this on the Beauty Nook page when I wore it last week, and I committed to not doing anything to her till after I reviewed her because I want you to see how she is out of the box. I may take steam to these bangs just to give them more lift. Uh, I haven't decided yet. One thing I've got to show you guys though is these the way these fibers feel, they're so realistic. Watch this. I'm not, she's not adhered, so I have to hold her. But you can just look at how I can just run my fingers through her. Part of that is these fibers and how great they are. Part of it is the fact that she has no permatease at all. And so when you do that, your fingers aren't getting caught up in permatease. I'm going to give you a quick comparison of this wig to my Broadway wig from um, Main Attraction so that you can see what I mean. But even doing that, look at how that changed her look. In some ways, this, if you grew up in the 80s, you'll know what I'm talking about. In some ways, this reminds me of 80s bangs, when you would curl them and then you kind of feather them. Look at that. I don't know, I think that's really fun. So that's something you can consider. I think there's a lot of potential with this style. She's just so light on the head and her movement is so good. So let's talk about the cap. So you can see this is a full monofilament and it's double. 
So it's got double layers, which can be really good if you don't have any hair at all because it's more comfortable and less likely to, to irritate your scalp. It also has this strip of silicone right here which you can use to adhere, or you, it might just grip a, a bare scalp really well. I don't think it has much impact on me because I do have some bio hair hair, so there's that. It does have velvet or moleskin ear tabs, and it does have some metal adjusters in here. They're very flexible, they're not super stiff. It has an, an extended nape with a little bit more of that silicone on it if you wanted to adhere to the nape of your neck. Otherwise, the rest of the cap is open wefted, which helps to make this really, really cool. I would say when I was wearing it, I just didn't feel like I was wearing anything. I did adjust the, and it does have the Velcro adjusters, which I'm so thankful for. I don't like the other, other styles. I did adjust them in some. So if you are a solid average to maybe even an average large, I think you would be able to wear this. Uh, because I have room and I also had to adjust it. So I, I would say average petite to average large is the safety zone for sure for this. Um, you know, I think it fits uh, just great. I don't have any concerns about it. So it's so comfortable. Uh, let me tell you about some of my initial impressions. So when I got her, she had terrible, terrible box hair. So I did soak her in water and I shook her out, I scrunched her up, and I hung her upside down to dry. Um, that helped a ton, it really did. And so uh, I wasn't so sure, and I'm still kind of figuring out if, the, you know, with the style being so straight here and then kind of blooming into some curls, I'm a little on the fence about that for me, um, as well as the fact that she's super, super layered. She's probably more layered than any other wig I own because the layers go and then she's longer. But I think she's adorable. I really do. I think she's super cute. I'm definitely going to keep her. I'm just trying to figure out what style with her works best for me. Do I need to steam the bangs? Um, I really, really am excited to play around with styles because of this monofilament. This is my first double monofilament. And so that has me really, really excited. If you like, sorry guys, I'm gonna get her back to where I know she likes to lay best. If you are someone who loves bangs, you can totally rock the bangs in this one. You might have to do just a little bit of trimming, but really, look at that, not a lot at all. Um, I do think that because of the layers and the curls, I think she's got fantastic accessory potential. I really think that you're gonna be able to get some cute styles out of her. I didn't grab a big clip here. Let me see if I can get one quick. I think you can get some great styling with her because of the layers and the curls. If you just have a few accessories and take a little bit of time. So in that case, I think she can be really great. These fibers feel so good. I think you're gonna get a lot of life out of her as well. Um, and she's gonna last a long time. And plus, I'm just always a fan of wigs that have a great lace front and give me the option to pull it off my head. I just love that. I think that is a tremendous benefit and value. Let me just show you what she would look like with a headband. I love these square bands. I haven't actually done this with her yet. So bear with me while I figure out placement. I just think it's so cute. The one complaint, if, if you will, that I have about it, so the lace front ends right here. And so if you're gonna put her up, you really have to be careful. And then you've got this like short hair right here. So sometimes when I had her up, I did have to mess with her quite a bit to figure out how to make this lay so you can't see where that lace front ends, but so that it doesn't look ridiculous in your face. This may need actually some steaming so that it lays a little bit flatter. So when you wear her up, you'll have the ability to do that. But if you just want to wear her up, but you don't want to maybe pull all the bangs back, you can totally do that. And with this monofilament, 
It looks totally real. And she does have, um, the bangs are layered as well. So she does have some wispy bangs that run a little shorter as you can see. So that's really easy to do and you don't need to take a scissors to her for that. So, I mean, I just think there's lots of potential in this one. And I'm really disappointed in, in a lot of ways that the stock photos aren't better because I think that people are not attracted to this piece because the photos aren't that attractive. So hopefully this gives you some ideas of what you could do with this. And so my, my opinion is if you like mid-length layers, you like curly, but you don't like over the top curly, and you don't want permatease, I need to verify that there's no permatease because I don't really feel it. Yeah, there's not permatease in her. There's no poof of permatease for sure. I mean, she does, she's a good amount of hair and she has some volume, but you're not going to get real big hair. But if you saw my um, Aesthetica Alden review, and I was saying how she's so flat and you can't get any volume. This one isn't that, so there's no permatease, but there's definitely some volume here. So I do think you're gonna find it to be just the perfect mix if you like a little bit of, you know, like you styled your hair versus you just kind of combed it down. Let me give you a quick glimpse of how this one compares to Broadway because I've heard that some people think she compares to Finn. I don't agree with that, and I do have Finn. I think she's over there so I can grab her. I think, if anything, you might be able to compare her to Main Attraction Broadway, at least of the, of the wigs that I own. Now, there's lots of differences, but let, just hear me out here. So Broadway is a basic cap, big, big difference right there. Broadway also has lots of permatease up here. I can feel the proof of permatease, and that gives Broadway this lift. But in a lot of ways, aside from that, Broadway is a similar style. Broadway has the kind of the bang area. Broadway has curls. Um, Broadway is layered. Uh, Broadway's shorter, and you don't have the styling options. But as some of you know, I like Broadway, and I have a few reviews on Broadway. So if you have watched my reviews on Broadway, and you have said, oh, I wish I could wear that. I think it's too much hair. I don't think I can do the permatease. Or I just wish Broadway were a little longer. Maybe Lantana could be one. Plus, a lot of people don't want this basic cap. They want some styling options. So let's whip the Lantana back on. so that you can see why I thought there was some comparison. This whole silhouette up here, aside from being Broadway being curlier and a lot more poofy, I think it's pretty similar. And then you've got the curls, but you've got the length, you don't have the permatease, and you have styling options because of this monofilament. Let me grab Finn. So I've, uh, I've played a lot with Finn. I tried to root her. Um, so Finn is, I don't know about Finn. I like Finn. I wish I had Finn in a different color. So Finn, I've heard her compared to Finn. I don't see it. I just think Finn is in a different class. Finn doesn't have the curls. She's got more waves. She is just so much more hair. She's a lot heavier in hair. She does have a lace front, which is really good, but she doesn't have any monofilament. Um, at least not the fin I own. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even put them in the same class. Uh, maybe lengthwise they're a little closer, but that's about as far as I can consider fin. Fin feels heavy on my head. Fin is so thick. Lantana just doesn't feel like that at all. She feels so light. I think she'd be so, even in, in the summer, I'm here when it's warm, she's comfortable. Like I said, there's updo potential, there's even low pony potential with this one because of the density. 
yeah I don't know but anyway so this is a long video so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here um, I will give you guys more information on Lantana as I continue to wear her but my initial impressions were eh, I'm not sure after wearing her twice now and filming this review and looking at myself in the mirror and really studying the wig so I can explain it I like it. I'm so glad I have it. I thank Leanne from the bottom of my heart for asking if I would be willing to try Lantana and to give you guys a review. Um, I, I, it's an unexpected pleasure to have had a chance to try this one. I may not have done that on my own. So if you have questions for me, please ask them. Comment. I will respond. I respond to all comments. If I miss your comment, I apologize. If I get a lot at once, sometimes I can miss them, but I do try to go back regularly and make sure I haven't missed questions and comments. Let me know what your questions are because I want you to have good information. I also know these are a little more expensive than um, some other wigs, simply because the features are better. They have the double monofilament. They have really great hair fibers. And so I think that, you know, that's a more premium. Uh, but with that, I think you'll get a better wig. So thanks for watching you guys. I hope this was helpful and please let me know if there's anything that you'd like to see in future videos because I keep a list and I like to try to do things that people would like to see because I'm making these for you, not for me. Thanks you guys. Have a good day. Hey guys, I thought I would add a little look at uh, Lantana up in a clip. So first of all, I put her up in a clip right here. Look at that double monofilament. So realistic. And then I put her back in a claw clip here. And I lifted her up fairly high. I think it looks fine. So, thumbs up to Lantana being put in an updo. Like I said, she would be. And so, one more style for this one. Thanks for watching, guys.